I already made two videos on the Baltimore Bridge, the Francis Scott Key Bridge, to be precise. And there are more details that need to be covered. And first up, before even starting, I want to thank Robert Weissenbach for this footage. He sent this to my Facebook page, and it's very relevant to the whole entire story. This interview conducted on Fox & Friends, Fox News, just several hours after this whole incident went down with this one Amazon employee. And let's play this very short clip, then I'll get right to the information. I couldn't see anything. It was pretty dark. So it's still kind of dark outside. It's 5 a.m. And I'm not even outside right now. I'm in the ERC room at my job. And as this individual just stated, 5 a.m., actually 5.09 a.m. Eastern Time. And there's definitely a lot of connections to be made here with Amazon. Take a look here at the cap worn by this employee. Amazon, obviously, then it says DCA6. Just take a look at what you see here. In geometry, in full reduction, it just so happens to be 33. For those who are wondering what the DCA6 stands for, that's for a local Amazon hub in the area. I'll get more of that in a little bit. And as far as the name Amazon itself, hidden in plain sight. First off, let's take a look here when it comes to Freemasonry. Masons say we are everywhere, and they are. And it's always in plain sight, hidden in plain sight. As you can see, the founder, the creator of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, doing the one-eye symbolism with a CD. And obviously, for those that know anything about the occult of carving of the right eye, just as you see here, as I've shown previously in other videos, the covering of the right eye all has to do, and it's from the Bible verse, Zechariah 11:17, where it states, and his right eye will be blind, re referring to the Antichrist. And that gets into Manly P. Hall, a very famous Freemason who stated once, when the human race learns to read the language of symbolism, a great veil will fall from the eyes of men. And that gets back to Jeff Bezos. And definitely, the whole concept of Amazon wasn't pulled out of thin air. Amazon basically is a mason. You just flip the Z around and you separate the A and the M, you get a mason. Now, as far as symbolism is concerned with the arrow, so-called arrow from A to Z, it's more like Satan's tail and also the phallic symbol. Not to be too graphic, but we know what this means with the male part. Just as you see with the rocket's head. Make no mistake about it. This is by design. Everything is by design when it comes to these Satanists that run this world and control all of TV, all these major companies. Again, make no mistake about it. And that brings us back with this individual working at the Amazon plant, the distribution center. Now let's take a look here, as I showed in my previous video, this individual, Jesus Campos, as you see here, one of the first individuals to be interviewed after this all went down. As I mentioned in my previous video, his name is 33 Numerology, but Jesus is also spelled Jesus. Now again, the connection here is going to be pretty amazing when it comes to the Golden Gate Bridge. Take a look here at the Francis Scott Key Bridge. And here is the Amazon Distribution Center, just right across, of course. Let's take a close look. Very interesting connection here. Look at the street name here, Bethlehem Boulevard. Okay, let's get another look here. And you can clearly see it. Bethlehem Boulevard, looking across to the bridge here, the Francis Scott Key Bridge bridge now this connection is going to be made here it's all going to connect with the golden gate in bethlehem which of course biblically is the birthplace of jesus and that brings us to the san francisco golden gate bridge of course the color orange orange is the only color numerology that is 33 and for some that might say the golden gate bridge is actually red <laughs> i've heard that before that statement before in previous videos on the Golden Gate Bridge. You can see here from the Golden Gate Bridge's official website, there's many different color codes for the color orange. This one's called International Orange. So let's not have a dispute about the color of the bridge. It's definitely an orange color. And that gets into the huge connection when it comes to Baltimore and San Francisco. Just take a look here once again at Bethlehem, where the Amazon employee interview was conducted. 
just across from the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Take a look here. The Golden Gate Bridge, again constructed in 1933. All the steel came by railway all the way from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Take a look at this. Unbelievable connection that I find extremely interesting with the two bridges. And another amazing connection with the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge with the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Francis in Spanish, for all my Spanish-speaking friends like Romina, Francis is Francisco in Spanish. Just another amazing coincidence connecting the two bridges together. Now, and the map of the U.S., when you have Baltimore and San Francisco, it's like duality, one end to the other, the opposite end. And that brings us more to something I've covered several times in the past, going back 10 years ago with predictive programming and the Golden Gate Bridge. Just take a look here more recently with the San Antonio Spurs official Instagram page. They show this big boot hovering over the Golden Gate Bridge like it's going to be destroyed. And for the record, you could check Instagram and the official page for the San Antonio Spurs. It was posted March 9th. And for reference, images from the videos I made in the past regarding the Golden Gate Bridge predictive programming. Here is from the Terminator movie from the series. This one is called Terminator Genesis. Of course, biblically, Genesis, the first chapter in the Bible. And take a look at the Golden Gate Bridge destroyed. And more of the same with other movies, as you can see here. It's a common theme going throughout history when it comes to movies. And as we all know or should know, there's a lot of predictive programming in movies. And in the video I made years ago, I break it all down when it comes to the symbolism, the connection with Egypt and the Golden Gate, the telephone booth symbolism, the Spirit of 76 gas station, and much more. Wheel symbolism and so forth. I'll post that video on my new Rumble channel in the near future. And more the same when it comes to the Golden Gate Bridge predictive programming. With this animation, also another piece of predictive programming when it comes to Baltimore is the Dolly cargo ship. And just take a look at this artwork going back to 1945. And you see the bridge. And just a little bit of a close-up of the actual bridge. The title, The Broken Bridge and the Dream. And here's one for the coincidence theorist out there. The maker of the artwork, his name is Salvador Dali. And just an amazing coincidence for all the coincidence theorists.